taking a look at question number nine, which is also question number 22 in the textbook. So if you're doing it online, it's nine. If you're doing it in the textbook, it's 22. We have to find the area of this figure. So we have a couple of options. We could make this a big rectangle okay, and subtract out these two triangles, uh, which is a nice, easy option. Um, or we could find the area, so that was one of the options, or we could find the area of this trapezoid up top and this rectangle down here, so two shapes. And that's gonna be the option that I'm gonna choose just because that relates the most to what we worked on today. Um, so we'll solve for the area of this big shape first. We know that area equals base times height in a rectangle. Um, it, do, it does not matter what you decide is your base and what you decide is your height. So I'm gonna do 14 times 12. And our area there equals 168 feet squared. So that's one of our areas. We're not quite done yet. We need to find the area of the shape up here. Now this is a trapezoid. And this is where I was talking about, it's not always easy to find the average, the middle of the bases. We know that this would be what we consider base two. Well, let's do a different color for this one, sorry. Um, we would call this base two. Base one is going to be 14 feet, and we get that from the bottom information. That equals base one. Okay, and our height is uh, five feet. Now, if I was trying to find the average, the middle between 7 and 14, that's a little bit harder because 7 plus 14 is 21. Divide that by 2, the middle is going to be, their base average is going to be a 10.5. So we're going to be dealing with a decimal, um, which a lot of you could not do mentally. Um, so for this one, we're going to use our formula. We know area for a trapezoid equals 0.5 half times height times, in parentheses, base 1 plus base 2. When we do that, we get 0 0.5 times our height is 5 times base 1 is uh, 14 plus base 2 is 7, which we already said was 21. Okay, and we can just type all that really quickly into our calculator when we do 0 0.5 times 5 times in parentheses 14 plus 7, close your parentheses, you get 52.5 feet squared. And now you need to combine those two. So you have this area and this area, and you need to add them up. And when we do that, when we add up those two areas, 168 plus 52.5, we get a total of 220.5. So our area equals 220.5 feet squared. And that is our final answer for this question. If you guys have any questions, and remember that wasn't the only way to solve it, but you should end up with that same area no matter what method you come up with. Uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure to email me.